Everybody, thanks for checking out my review for this Max Exla uh, mini computer. So I've actually been purchasing several of their products um, because they're really <laughs> fairly priced. And uh, as I need something, I, I check. And it seems like they've got a lot of stuff. So I've been purchasing from uh, the seller SamCam. I've uh, been really happy with their customer service. So I decided to do a re review for this one. I haven't started it up yet, so I'm not going to give my opinion till the end. But I wanted to show you. Um, this is a laptop here with almost the exact same specs. You can see it's a lot smaller. Obviously this doesn't have a keyboard um, and it doesn't have a, a monitor, but it is an, a really nice little computer. I mean, this is super small. So the specs were decent. Um, it wasn't anything fancy like you're gonna be able to do gaming or anything on, but for a media box, um, for you know work stuff for me, I need it for some PowerPoint and some Word um, presentation, well, PowerPoint presentation, some Word documents. Um, so anyway, it comes in the box, comes with this mounting bracket, which is pretty cool. You mount it to the back of a computer or to the wall if you want. Also comes with an HDMI cable that's really long and then a really short one too. If you are mounting it close, that's actually really nice to have a short one. And then the power cord. So really, really basic um, computer here. There's not really much to it. You have, um, it's got your SD ports, got your USB ports, it's got HDMI out, another USB, so it has three total. This is the power button, it took me a while to find that, that's the power button. Um, and then if you want to plug some speakers into that, and then this is the VGA. Um, so it's got a lot packed into just kind of a very small area. But one of the things that I really liked about it um, is that it doesn't have a fan. So it runs um, quite nicely without it um, and very quietly. That's the big thing is it runs very quietly. Um, but yeah, there you go. It's also an Intel chip. And I'm not like partial to Intel for any reason other than their chips tend to run um, a lot cooler than some of the other ones like AMD. I like AMD a lot. Uh, but their chips run a little hotter. So since it doesn't have a fan, it was nice that they used an Intel chip um, just to make it run a little bit cooler. So now what I want to do is I want to plug it in. We're going to connect it all up. Um, I'm going to run you through the setup and we'll do some just some quick, you know, browsing around type tests on it and see how it does as far as uh, lag time for opening and closing uh, browsers and files as well as uh, we're going to try some streaming, I think, too. So uh, I'm going to get it connected to the computer and I'll be back with you. All right, so we have it plugged in now to the TV. Um, and I just barely turned it on, so I wanted to actually run you through the first initial setup because I haven't set this up yet. Um, we're, we'll check out boot time and everything like that. All right, so it looks like we're already booted up. Uh, it's going to have us run through the settings here. Let me do this. I'm just going to click on it. Obviously, you're going to fill in your own information. Hit next. So this, the product key, uh, Windows 10 to actually activates in the background. So what you're going to do is you're going to skip this. Um, so you're going you're gonna to hit this down here at the bottom, this do it this later, bottom left. You're going to skip that and you're going to move on. Have to accept all their terms, just like anything else. Uh, then you're going to connect to your Wi-Fi. So I'm going to actually pause it because uh, I don't want to see, don't want you to see my Wi-Fi password. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and skip this uh, because I don't have a keyboard connected into it. And when you click on it, you obviously need a keyboard to, uh, to punch in the information. So I'm gonna skip this step and we'll just keep moving forward. Um, I'm just gonna use the express settings. I'll change those later. Laters. <laughs> I'll change those later. Um, and for now, we're gonna let this thing boot. The first boot on Windows 10 or any Windows operating system normally takes a while. Basically what I want you to see is the, the setup's very quick. Um, so, we'll just, oh, we have to enter a username. All right, so what we're going to, oops, whoa, what'd I do? My fault. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. First, I'm gonna get it back to 100%. Then we're gonna click this button down here, ease of access. Make your computer easier to use. Windows will read and scan this list automatically. I'm going to choose on-screen keyboard, and we'll just make it easy. So we'll just uh, type in Justin. Enter. So if you don't have if you don't have a keyboard, I, I actually have a wireless one that I'm going to plug in, but we need to boot it up so that I can get the drivers installed. 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. Yeah, sure, we'll use Cortana. She's pretty nice. And we'll boot up from here. All right, there we go. So this is Windows 10. That was pretty, actually a pretty quick runtime. I want you to see something while it's doing this. I'm going to put the microphone right next to the, the computer so that you can hear. This thing is darn near silent. No, actually that is silent, <laughs> completely silent. I don't hear a single peep coming off of it. I hear more noise coming from my TV than from the uh, computer itself, which is awesome. So um, it's going to take a little bit of time here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause and I'll be back again in a second. All right, so we're booted up here and all set. Uh, all I did was, was enter my Wi-Fi password. Um, I plugged this little keyboard in, see if you can see that. Uh, this is kind of my go-to keyboard. I have a Bluetooth one. I'll try a little later. Um, but for now, this is just a wireless keyboard. You, I, I plugged right into the USB. Uh, it has a, I say wireless and plug in. It has, a, it has a dongle I plugged in the USB. And then, of course, obviously, this is wireless. Uh, it read it, no problem. Uh, didn't have to find a driver or anything like that. So um, one thing that I wanted to check, actually, is activation. Let's see if Windows is activated. So that we skipped that in the setup. So I just want to make sure that it activated once we connected to the Wi-Fi. So digital license linked to your Microsoft account. Awesome. So I, I entered my Microsoft account to get Cortana to work the way that's a Windows issue, not this computer. So I'm not going to guide you through that. If you have questions, feel free to, to message me. Um, but you can see it did activate, so no problems there. Uh, it, it actually loads really fast. So let's click down here at the... Um, there it is. All right, so yeah, it boots up. It boots up quick. Let's go my book. So no lag time really at all. Searching in in between. So this is a five terabyte hard drive I have plugged into it. I've ripped all of my movies. Um, so the other thing that I really wanted to do was install Kodi, um, but I wanted to show you as far as as far as the smoothness, the speed. There there really isn't any lag time. The other thing that you can kind of tell how fast your computer is down here, the start menu here in the bottom left. Uh, if I have some computers that are old and they actually have a, a tough time uh, opening that up, so it takes a second. You can see zero lag on there. Um, let's go ahead and open Kodi because I did download Kodi real fast. Um, so there we go. So we'll actually launch a program. And it, yeah, I mean, that is really fast. This is, this, the specs on this computer are a lot that they're not all that great as far as, as speed goes but it still runs wildly efficient you can see how fast that is I haven't installed anything obviously uh, sound works great too so let's go ahead and get out of this exit uh, let's open up YouTube let's check that out so I'm going to check just some streaming real fast obviously this depends more on your well, it depends partly on your, your Wi-Fi speed and partly on your computer. So let's go YouTube.com. I mean, that is, that is really impressive. I'm really, I'm, I'm actually quite pleased with how fast everything loads. It's a very smooth running computer. Oops. I'm going to turn it down. I just chose the, the, the first thing. I'm going to mute this actually, but... I chose the first thing that was in HD, so let, let me change that to HD. I'll change it to 1080p and really push this computer here. Huh? No lag time switching over either. Pretty nice. I'll switch to full screen. Excellent quality. I mean, this is connected through HDMI, so it's going to be your best your best quality. Um, the, you, you might not get the same quality out of the VGA outputs, but you're still going to get pretty darn good quality. But, I mean, this thing is, that is flawless. I have no idea what movie this is. Bright. That sounds good. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm going to wrap up here because um, I think I've showed you everything that I can show you. It, it runs really nice. I'm super impressed with this, just like the other Max Excel products that I've, I've purchased um, they're, they're kind of my go-to budget electronics. Uh, I don't, I don't really like to spend a lot of money on things that I'm not going to use every, well, 
the Android boxes that I bought from them, I actually use every single day. Uh, this computer wasn't something that I was going to use every day, but I needed it for a very specific purpose, um, and it definitely fulfills that. So Windows 10 runs really smooth. Boot time isn't bad at all, um, and it's just it's simple. I mean, you can't get any easier than just plugging a couple of things in. So I think you're going to be really, really pleased with this. Um, let me shut. I'm going to shut it down. I think you're going to be super pleased with this computer, guys. I really do. You saw how, how smooth it runs, how quickly it runs. I don't have any complaints about it at all. Um, so I give this a solid five stars.